September 14, 2014 from FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. It was the Jacksonville Jaguars at the Washington Redskins. And what a game this was. RG3 went down early, which was sad to see. So Kirk Cousins would come in relief. Deshaun Jackson also was injured, so the Redskins were really at a minus with those injuries and on their offense. But they were able to score the first touchdown of this game as Kirk Cousins hooked up with Daryl Young for a 20-yard touchdown pass to put the Redskins up 7 to nothing. That would be it for the first quarter. And then at the beginning of the second quarter, Alfred Morris scored on a one-yard touchdown run to put the Redskins up 14 to nothing. Then about seven minutes later, Alfred Morris did it again with another one-yard run, and it was now 21 to nothing Redskins. So the Redskins started this game with 21 unanswered points, but then just two minutes before halftime, Mercedes Lewis caught a 63-yard pass from Chad Henney as he aired it out and put Jacksonville on the board as the score was now 21-7 to going into halftime. So coming out of the locker rooms, the Redskins were the only team that would score in the third quarter as Kai Forbaith kicked the 36-yard field goal that would make it 24-7. to Then in the fourth, the Redskins continued to pour it on as Niles Paul scored on a two-yard touchdown pass from Kirk Cousins to make it 31-7. to Then a little less than four minutes later, Kai Forbaith kicked his second field goal of the game, this time from 42 yards, and it was now 34-7 to Redskins. Then Josh Scobie kicked the 36-yard field goal for the Jacksonville Jaguars to make it 34-10. to That would be it for Jacksonville, but the Redskins weren't done just yet as Silas Red scored on a 14-touchdown run to add insult to injury as the score was now 41-10 to with less than two minutes left, and that would be it. As the game came to a close moments later, as the Redskins win this game by 31 points. And in this game, Kirk Cousins, in relief of RG3, was 22 for 33. He had 250 yards and two touchdowns. Chad Henney was 14 for 28 with 193 yards, one touchdown, and one interception. The game's leading rusher was Alfred Morris with 22 carries for 85 yards and two touchdowns. And the game's leading receiver was Niles Paul with 99 yards off of eight receptions, including a touchdown. So Paul was just one yard shy of the century mark. So Washington shuts down Jacksonville as their defense came up strong, and they had 10 sacks. That's right, 10 sacks. Is Ryan Kerrigan had four sacks all by his lonesome, and the rest of the team combined to have 10 sacks. So the Redskins were just all up in the face and in the backfield of the Jacksonville Jaguars as they kept Chad Honey under constant pressure. They did get that interception as well. As their defense was just shutting it down. And the offense was racking up the points as Kirk Cousins was looking very, it's very talented in this game for the Redskins. So the final score was 41-10 to as the Redskins even up their record at 1-1, one and, one, and the Jaguars fall to 